Former President Donald Trump pleaded not guilty in his first court appearance today. The federal case brought against him in Miami. He's facing 37 federal, federal felony counts he was indicted on last week in connection with his alleged mishandling of some of the nation's closely held secrets. The former president stopped at a restaurant before leaving the Sunshine State, and then he headed home to, headed to New Jersey, where he spoke at a fundraising event there. So as for those felony charges the president is facing, they range from willful retention of national defense information to obstruction and making false statements. Joining me around the table to talk about this case, Attorney Brian Watkins. Brian, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. Okay, so let's talk about what kind of evidence are we going to hear about, especially since these documents are classified? How much are we going to hear about the case that they have, what's in the case that they have against Donald Trump? Very little. Unfortunately, yes, all those documents are classified, so you're certainly not going to see the documents. The problem with the case and the problem with us seeing the evidence is, is that they proceeded by indictment. And that means that the federal prosecutor has already presented the evidence to the grand jury. They got to see the evidence. Now there's not what we call a preliminary hearing where they would have to put on their evidence to show what the evidence is and see whether or not a judge will make a ruling or whether or not Donald Trump should stand trial for these charges. Mm -hmm. Because that's already occurred behind closed doors and the indictment is actually sealed right now, we're not going to see a lot of evidence because the pre presentation of evidence already occurred. Is it, and we were in a unique situation, right? Because this person who's been indicted, they say everyone should be treated equally. Um, but it is a very different situation with somebody who is currently campaigning for the president of the United States. This is absolutely very unprecedented. You know, Donald Trump's actions have never been, you know, scrutinized like any other president or former president. His actions, every action that he's done has been completely scrutinized. Clearly, you know, President Nixon could have been charged with burglary, <laughs> you know, Ronald Reagan could have been charged with crimes regarding the Iran-Contra scandal, but those investigations stop far short of a criminal investigation and seeking an indictment. But everything Donald Trump does seems to pretty much start an investigation, criminal and otherwise, and you know, that's, that's something for the politicians to say, why, why is that? Why is this outsider who's not a career politician, why does he get such scrutiny when us other politicians don't? I mean, there were documents fine that President Biden's home, mm -hmm. but it clearly you don't see that type of investigation. So that's, it's, it's unique, and I think Donald Trump is going to play off that and say, look, I've been telling you all this is a witch hunt and that everyone's after me, and I think he's going to show that this is evidence of what he's been saying. Well, so the case you talked about with Biden and also um, the same exact argument for Hillary Clinton um, mm -hmm. was also brought up. Um, so on the other side of that, they will say it's different because they didn't try. The, 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 the real problem that they have with Donald Trump is the hiding, is the... Uh, you know, is the next step he took it to to hide his taking of the documents? Well, I'm he's going to dispute that and said, I didn't hide anything. You know, if you ask me some questions, I answered them the best I can. If it wasn't the answer that you were looking for, it doesn't mean that I was lying or that I was hiding anything. And again, like I said, we're looking at why these investigations go so far as to people actually seeking criminal indictments. Normally, when we're dealing with president's actions or former president's actions, we have investigations, but there's never a criminal indictment sought. And it's very easy to get a criminal indictment. And like the old saying says, you can indict a ham sandwich. And so you're in an indictment, you're in a grand jury room where it's only the prosecutor, and they're only presenting what they think happened, their evidence, their side of the story, with no other explanation whatsoever. And that's why it's so easy to have a grand jury hand an indictment down, which is, which is you know, what occurred in this case. And it always occurs. Never does a grand jury not indict whoever you know, is in front of them, because all the evidence that they hear is all evidence that says they did it, and they don't hear the other side of the story. What we're going to be waiting for is Donald Trump's side of the story. And yes, and, and as, as everyone is also saying, even though we talk about this all day long, let it play out in the courts. Let's have faith in the justice system. Problem is, is it's in federal court. Federal courts don't have cameras, so it's not going to be on court TV. It's not going to be like the OJ trial. Can that be changed, though? Can't they change that? Well, federal judges can do whatever they want, right, right. Um, but I, it's unlikely that they would do that for this case. And they don't want it to be a circus, you know, and that's... You know, so I don't see Court TV and all these other news stations getting in there and, and having a televised trial. Right. It gets lost. You know, the, the courtroom sketches, the drama gets lost when, you, when all they have it to present is a courtroom sketch. The reporters are not allowed to have their phones. You're right, so they can't document it in any way. All right, well, I'm sure we have not seen the last of you, so we'll uh, talk to you again, and thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. Okay, Brian Watkins, thank you. Uh,